If you're about to sell your home, stop! You gotta listen to this <laughs> message before you go out, drive yourself crazy, pick up the paintbrush, remove the carpet, hang something on the wall. You could be causing yourself unnecessary heartburn, but our real estate expert, Linda Kraft, is here to help you out. Linda, you say you could write a book on what not to do, right? <laughs> yeah, I have seen a lot of things over 29 years and 6,000 homes sold, so I tell all my clients, I don't care what you're doing to your home, from the front sidewalk to the backyard fence and everything in between, call me first. Gotcha. Because I have seen some stuff. <laughs> well, give, give us some examples of some of the craziness that you've seen. I have watched a garage be torn down because it was built on top of a, an easement. I watched a sunroom be torn down because it was outside the building envelope, and even with an attorney, we couldn't get a variance. Mm. I have watched thousands of dollars be spent by homeowners because they didn't get a building permit. Okay, so Ooh. if a homeowner calls you, they say, Linda, I think I want to put a fence up. That might add some value. What would In you say? In real estate, that is one of the biggest things we deal with on, on so many closings because people will put up a fence. They think they know where their property line is at. They go to Home Depot or they call somebody to help them, and the next thing you know, that fence is encroaching into someone's property. I have watched fences be torn down, <sighs> moved, and fought hours of trying to get an encroachment agreement signed, notarized, and recorded before we get to closing. So have a surveyor come out and mark your lines before you do anything. It's not very expensive. They'll mark the four corners of the property and all along where the fence is going to go, and then you won't have any problems. And make sure if you live in a community where there is an HOA, get permission. Yes. So it's weird. You know, let's say we live in a house for several years, and we know there are things that, that need to be kind of brought up to, to date. When we go to sell our house, we have kind of two options. Either spend a ton of money to try to get things nice, the way we probably should have done it all along, or just kind of sell is. Is there a hard rule of what we should do, or should we just contact someone who has to come out and take a look at it? You know, we have to really evaluate the market and the home, the neighborhood it's in, and the price point. There's some things you're going to want to do just because it makes sense. It's going to net you more money. And then there's other things you probably just do need to sell it as is because you could spend so much money and still not make a dime on it. Okay, let's talk about some specifics like sunroom, garage, or a pool. If somebody thinks yeah. that adding those things will help them, what would you advise? Well, and it can, but you just got to make sure that you do it right. So, so many people will call a contractor out, they want to do an addition, and they don't realize they're building on top of the septic repair, or they go outside of a building envelope, or there's impervi impervious soils that they need to consider. And so we discover all those things when we get ready to go to closing because they show up with the next home buyer in their mm -hmm. survey. So making sure that you do it right on the, at the front end is the most important thing because it's not going to give you any value. It's just going to cost you a lot of money to fix the problem. Right. Sometimes the fix is you got to tear it down. You're like Celine Dion. She's having a hard time selling her mansion because she basically built a water park on it. Did you hear about that? No, I didn't. Yeah, she's having a hard time selling it. <laughs> she built wow. a water park. So what about uh, everybody always sees that unfinished room above their garage or their attic yeah. and they think, I'm going to build a man cave. Yeah, once you go inside the home, you feel like you can do anything you want. And a lot of times what will happen is you and your buddies will come out and finish it off. I mean, it just needs a little sheetrock and insulation for that man cave. <laughs> and we'll hijack the air conditioning and the heating system from the um, adjoining floor. And that's, first of all, you have to have a building permit. You're either going to get it now or you're going to get it later and it's going to cost a whole lot more. And if a contractor says, oh, let me just tap into that second floor unit for your attic, you know right then you're getting ready to spend some big money. Because I don't know any builder that actually will size the second floor unit to accommodate the additional square footage that you're about to put in. And so those are things that, you know, show up when you get ready to sell your home and it costs so much money. A simple phone call to me, five minutes, will save them thousands of dollars because I'm going to give them a list of things to watch out for so then when they do interview a contractor, they know from the beginning these are the things to make sure we, we don't have on our property that's yeah. going to create a future Even problem. the simplest things, a phone call to you would, would be good. Oh, mm -hmm. yes. I mean, I had someone the other day that said, I was so sick and tired of all the um, damage to our carpet from the kids and the pets that we decided to put in marble floors throughout the first floor. And I went, you put in marble uh, floors? Are you telling me you put them in the kitchen and the living room? I mean, they're like everywhere. Yeah. And they're like, yes. And I thought, oh my gosh, I didn't say this. I mean, I kind of put it all in and say, okay, how are we going to deal with this? But I thought if you had just called me, I could have made a recommendation for a floor that actually would add value to your home instead mm -hmm. of taking it away. That's smart. Gotcha. Yeah. Got to call Linda. Great information, Linda. Thank you. My pleasure. Thanks for letting me help. Be sure to give Linda and her team a call before you make any home improvements. You can reach her at 919-235-6300 or 
lindacraft.com.